Welcome, and I'm going to show you another kind of player, which is, which is, how to say, um, um, another kind of player, which is now um, cut layout, okay, cut layout. So this one is your container. What does that mean, the cut layout? Let's say if I have a, com uh, if I have a component, okay, if I have a component like this, okay, and normally for the normal kind of player and if you would like to um, 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 put another component you must put somewhere if you need to put another component let's say the um, um, uh, paint components over there if you would like to put another component you have to put it somewhere else inside your layout and you cannot do such thing like you cannot do something like you know you're going to place your um, you're going to place your other components you know on top of this component like this it is not possible right? you're gonna put it like this it's not possible either it's gonna put like this it's not possible either okay you have to put it somewhere okay but then we're going to learn about the cut layout okay we're going to learn about the cut layout that it is ability so that you're going to place your component absolutely above other components okay it's just like a deck of cuts Okay, just like just like a deck of cards, and and each time you can view only one of them, and you can switch the view, you can switch your view between one another, and that one is a card player. I'm going, I'm going to demonstrate to you <coughs> using an example. Then um, Control Shift and New Java Location. This one we're going to use um, um, card layout demo. Okay, card layout demo. I'm going to. <coughs> Use applicants like this. Okay, of course the two are going to occupy in one space, and I'm gonna put it this way. So um, we're going to let's say we're going to have two cags. Okay, we're going to have two cags. Let's say I'm going to have two panels. Sorry, the first panel is like this. Okay, and we're going to have another panel. Okay, another panel is something like this. Of course. They're going to occupy uh, on top on, of one another, just like cats, but I'm, I'm going to put them um, in the two places for you to see only. Then I'm going to provide a button over here, okay, a button over here to uh, click next, and this one a button to click back, so you can switch between the two panels. Okay, but, but they are not separating, they're on top of one another, because it's cut layout. So now I'm going to create a new um, Java. I already created new, so I'm going to delete this one, delete. Okay, and we're going to right click on this package, new JFrame form. Copy this one and paste it here. I'm going to do finish. Okay, and I'm going to right click on this one, set layout, and this one we're going to put is cut layout. Okay cut layout and um, this cut layout you see it is cut layout like this and I'm gonna place on top of it the first panel okay on top this one is a panel already see this one is a panel already then I'm going to place on top of this panel a, a label okay this panel is it has its own it has its own layer manager so right now the label is managed by the panel not by the frame Okay, by layout manager. And right now, the, the container of this layout, um, container of this, um, sorry, the layout manager of this container or this panel is free design, so you can place the label anywhere you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna place it here. I'm gonna right click and say, this is panel one. Okay, this is on the panel one. And I'm going to place here um, a button. Okay, right click on this one, it takes I can um, go next. Okay, right click on this one, I can right click, I can check the name BTR next. Okay, button next. Similarly, similarly, you know, I'm gonna have another panel, but if you if you just simply drag and drop, if you just simply drag and drop this panel here, and it is another panel within the previous panel. So it's not going to be uh, using our um, um, cut layer from the frame. So this one doesn't work. I'm just going to delete it. So how do I um, add another panel on top of this panel? So we're going to click on Navigator. You know, I'm going to add another panel on, on the J frame. Okay, so it's going to be managed by this cut layer. So I want to right click on this one. Okay, right click on this one. And I want to select set, um, add from panel and we're going to um, um, select swing container and I want to add another panel 
okay panel then this one is another panel and if you look at this one see it's occupied and it's it's it, you know it's on top of our previous panel already okay so if you would like to edit this panel now we're going to place another label okay edit takes and we'll say this is um this is this is um panel two okay this is panel two and we're going to create on a button at the end here right click on this one we'll say previous okay and we're going to change very names change variable name button previous okay so now if you get back to um, if you would like to get back to this panel number two and design and just double click on it you know see this one is you are, you are able to get back to panel number um, one and edit it or you click on navigator again click on this you know i in uh, the panel number two okay and if you don't know um where to get the navigator you can click on windows and this is navigator okay this is navigator then um, if you run this one okay the car layout is able to show only one okay um, item at a time so if you you know so if you would like to view another one you have to you know code the button here so it can go next and it can go to preface so we're going to deal with those things so we're going to click on navigator we'll go to panel number one and when user click on next we're going to go to event accent accent performed okay and we'll do something and that thing is you know, we're going to use use the card layout to navigate so first thing first um your panels okay your panel is placed under the j frame but it's not directly under j frame okay if you um, um it, it is placed under the content pane of the j frame if you don't know this one please um, watch my video about the j frame demo okay now we um, going to um, access to that container first okay so we're going to access to the container container okay container okay control space and that container is from java the awt okay container equal to equal to we're going to uh, take this frame dot get content pane okay this one is a content pane the place for you to put components of a j frame then from this one we're going to get its layout Okay, container dot get layout. When when you get layout, it's gonna return you layout manager objects. Okay, layout manager object. But you do know that the layout manager of this container is a card layout. Okay, okay, layout manager. So you need to cast the layout manager into um, a card layout. Card layout. Control space. Select it. See so you you have access to the cut layouts okay um, um, uh, it's layout manager then you're going to navigate okay take the layout manager dot you can um, do next okay okay you can move next and place the container over here on you can do something like previous okay previous okay over to move to previous container all you can do is you can um, 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 you can let's say um, get to the first okay first you can get to the last okay or you can go to some let's say um, get to the first get to the last okay um, let's say last okay layout container maximum next okay prefer size prefers remove okay uh, you can show a specific okay you can show the specific components over here okay you can show the specific components with the name over here okay this one is free to the component that i'm added in this lab with the specified name okay you can you can um, show the specific component with the names over there okay but um, this time we'll just do simply uh, move next so we're gonna say layout manager dot next and you need to pass in the container and the container right now is is the container over here that we got over there so this one will help us to move next similarly similarly um if we design this one is moving next if you design okay you click on navigator if you design the second panel and if user 
click on this on the second panel okay and if you click on privilege you're gonna right click on this events action action performed and it's going to and it is going to do the code over here it's going to do the code over here okay now Marisha dot next it's gonna do the code over here and uh, instead of moving next we're going to moving to preface okay to preface change this one to preface okay if you run this one now you'll see if you click on next it will bring you to the next and if you click on preface it's gonna bring you to preface okay next preface next preface so if you um, design your application this way you can save some spaces okay instead of you know showing two panels okay you're gonna show one panel at the time that one is advantage but it, it also has its own disadvantage which is you know which is uh, you need to code for the navigation over here and normally normally this kind of thing right now people are gonna move to tap tap layout okay tap tap pins so you can have several tabs you can have several tabs like you're gonna have another files here okay you're gonna have another files here okay this another file here so it's tap layout so you can see only one at a time as well okay, but the navigation is a lot more convenient okay, but it depends on the needs again it depends on your need you know, if you need something that the layout manager provide you you use it and if you don't need then don't use it and we have a lot of other kinds of layout you can right click on this one set layout you have absolute layout okay yeah, box layout okay um, grid back layout is more complicated layout uh, than the uh, grid layout okay and then known layout or overlay layout okay but the frequently used most frequently used gonna be border layout first is the most frequently used then the um, um, flow layout then the grid layout Yep. Okay, that is almost it about layout managers.